Do you know how the tradition of decorating the campus started at the college? It goes all the way back to Christmas of 1924, the year the college opened. At that time, and up until 1980, all the sisters lived on campus. Many lived with the students in the dorms from 1924 until 2003. The first class at the college, all 15 of them, according to their records, after singing vociferously, if not melodiously, the night before Christmas vacation, stole surreptitiously into the sisters' community room. There they decorated a tree and left a present for each sister. The next morning, they crept back in to admire their work. Alas, the tree had fallen. They put it back in place and won the smiles of the sisters who admired their work. They were so pleased that they repeated the gesture the following year, and the year after, and the year after that. They extended it beyond the sisters' community room to the small but growing campus. Without knowing it, they began a tradition which endures to the present day. The first students considered the decorations to be a gift to the sisters, whose presence they appreciated in the dorms and in the classrooms. In fact, the sisters brought spiritual as well as practical support to these young ladies who had left home for the first time. The sisters would listen to their joys and heartaches, take care of a cold or a fever, and give them a blessing each evening. As the role of the Christmas decorations grew, so did the number and influence of the sisters who claimed the college as their home. To this day, we sisters remain in touch with the women we knew back then on our corridors. Especially at Christmas, their cards, emails, and texts remind us of what it meant to be a griffin in the early days. It's not too much different from today. Although fewer in number and scattered in houses beyond the college, we still work to spread our charism and to serve the dear neighbor as best we can.